Welcome to Westbrook's Kitchen, where we believe that you have authority of your life when it comes to controlling hypertension and heart disease through healthy eating and exercise. Visit www.westbrookskitchen.com for low-sodium recipes, health tips, and video exercises. Today, we're going to sweeten things up just a little bit, and I want to cater to my sweet tooth. Now, I'm a lover of caramel. So I decided to test my skills as we proceed to make some chewy caramel bites and some butter brickle. And I'm telling you, when you place this caramel in your mouth, you'll be like my favorite cartoon, Snuffles. You get the point? Let's get started. Now before we start preparing our caramel, let's oil down our pan with either some olive oil or some butter. For this will make it easy to remove our caramel from the pan when it's cool. And you can use um, a wax paper or some aluminum foil and uh, to lightly oil your pan and then place the aluminum foil and the wax paper down and then oil the outside of the wax paper. The ingredient for the caramel is pretty simple. We're going to start off by pouring in a cup and a half of thick whipping cream. Next, add in a cup of sugar. Now add in two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. I'm also adding a third cup of corn syrup. Now using a spoon, I'm going to stir that really through as I take it over to my stove. Now that I have my pot on the stove on medium heat, I want to blend all these sugars together and continue stirring. And you want to bring it up to a nice simmering boil. Now one thing is very important, as you start to bring it up to the boil, you want to have ready a brush with a little warm water. You want to brush the sugar crystals that form on the side of the pot. And you want to brush it so they drop right back down to the syrup. Because these crystal lights will burn and they will make your caramel gritty. So you want to make sure you continue to brush the little crystals that builds up on the outside of the pot. Now once your syrups come to a boil, take off the spoon and stop stirring. And now you want to place a candy thermometer into your syrup. Now you want to bring the syrup up to about 250 Fahrenheit. Now this is the temperature for a soft caramel. Now if you want a harder caramel, bring it up to about 275. After you take your caramel off the heat, add in one tablespoon of butter. And if the butter doesn't have salt in it, add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And you want to mix that through and get that butter in because that butter is going to add this pretty glaze to your caramel. Now I'm going to pour this good looking caramel to my prepared pan. You want to level out your caramel. You want it to sit for at least a good hour or so to allow it to cool. Now because we prepared our pan in advance, the caramel lifts out evenly. Mm -mm, mm, I tell you, this caramel is so good. And as you can see, I decided to make some butter brickle too. Mm -mm -mm. Mrs. C's, she won't be seeing me for a while. I'd like to thank you so much for joining in. And until next time, may God continually to richly bless you.